Welcome. This video is about the power and the freedom we give to you as an end user on Arco Linux. We have um, lots of possibilities to create the system you like. First off, we have um, the website arclinux.info where you can find the download link to our ISOs. And there are two ISOs, you know that by now, that we have an ISO that's small and, a, and one that's big. So Arc Linux is what we call the big ISO, it's two gigabyte big, but you don't need to install anything anymore. Everything is installed, everything just works. That's the easiest way to have a working system in 15 minutes. Then um, there were people saying, hey, why do you have three browsers? Why do you have LibreOffice? I'd rather have OpenOffice. Why doesn't have Steam, etc., etc." So we gave you the power to install a minimal Arch Linux version. So both of these guys can be found here on SourceForge. So you download an ISO, right? You download this ISO, the big one, and everything is already set. You just set the conkey, the theme, the icons, the wallpaper, that's it. But when you install the Linux D, you end up in a black screen. And then you go to a GitHub and you say, okay, let's install something. What shall we install? You go to arclinux.com and you say, I would like to have XFCE. Then you go and install XFCE on your system. And here are all the articles to do so. So you work with scripts and the scripts are actually, let's go and have a look. The scripts are at this website. So these are the scripts. And the idea is that this is skeleton. This is our skeleton. If you don't want to install Firefox, you just put a hashtag in front of it. If you want to install Steam, you should add it. So it's a lot of work went into this. So reuse it, change whatever you want to change. And then you have a system like this one, open box system with the applications you want. So that's option number two, Arch Linux, Arch Linux D. We have now a third option for you guys. We have a phase four, build your own ISO. And in the build your own ISO, you're going to use or reuse our ISO and change it any way you want. The end result of this uh, procedure is that you'll have an ISO, your personal ISO to burn on USB with your Steam on it, without your open, of with your open office, without LibreOffice, etc. etc. You change the packages of both. It's still a work in progress, that's why this line is in here. But you can just figure out, hey, I would like to have, and there are lots of things you can have. We can have just an ISO, Arch Linux ISO. Awesome. We can have one half with i3, with XFCE, OpenBox, mainly we're gonna have an ISO with every one of the desktops we visit. So we are going to have lots of ISOs. You build it yourself, but if that's too difficult, we will host the ISOs anyway on Source Forge Community Editions. You follow that link and you go to files, you'll see that we have already i3, so that means Arco Linux B i3, just i3 on Arch Linux, just open box on Arch Linux, and always on a version that we run the script on. So we just released the 1st of June 6.8.2, meaning that we have this release uh, here available for you. So it's all, it's interesting to know that we now have the possibility to actually use whatever you want because we can change the packages both. Here it is. If you say, I do not want to have, let's do a console find Firefox. And the only thing you have to do is put a hashtag in front of it and Firefox will not be installed. You run the script and it's built. So the end result is an ISO. To make a synthesis, I've tried to recapitulate this in a design that I'm gonna share or I'm not gonna share, I don't know, but um, it's in the video anyway. So we have Arco Linux, which has Arch, AOR and Arco parts. You remember those three logos? And it gives you a two gigabyte ISO with XFCE, OpenBox and i3. In Arco Linux D, you get a very small Arch uh, based ISO, it's Arch Linux D, 
but it's mainly packages of Arch, right? That's why it has only the name Arch. And then this little sign means then you script, then you git clone open box, and then you start building up your Arch Linux D environment or your i3 environment. So the third option we have now is the Arch Linux B to build your own ISO. So we start with scripting. We don't start with an ISO. This is an ISO, this is an ISO, but this is here actually a script. We start with a script and we end up with an ISO with Arch AUR Arco, two gigabyte big. You'll find out that a desktop environment is not that much. I mean, 30, 40, 50 megabyte. That's it, all right? So we'll end up not just with XFCE, but also with Cinnamon, with Plasma. Any desktop we'll visit, you'll have the possibility to build an Arco Linux B Cinnamon, for instance. Okay. So I hope that's clear now that we provide, um, well, many ways to build up your system. And it's all about you, what you choose, what you feel comfortable with in your learning path. Maybe you will want to start at the top and then gradually move down and say, I will give it a try. All right. Enjoy.